Hi everyone, I'm Bronwyn from Gallery 2 and today I'm going to be showing you how to create the activity in your take home art kit. In this art kit we're going to be doing an artist study. We're going to be looking at the work of our artist Richard Reed, whose exhibition is currently on display here at Gallery 2. Richard is a very important artist in the Grand Forks area. He and his wife created the Grand Forks Art Gallery back in 1984. This exhibition showcases Richard's work from across his entire career as an artist, with the earliest work being from 1954 and the most recent from 2022. That's nearly 70 years of art. We're going to be looking at three works of art in particular and using them as inspiration to create our own works of art. Let's get started. The first work of art we're looking at today is called Homage to Gorky, and it's from 1961. In the 1960s, Richard and his wife Beverly lived in London, England for four years. It was during this time in London that Richard really began to understand himself as an artist, and he was greatly influenced by the abstract expressionism style of art, particularly the works of our child Gorky. We're going to create a painting that's inspired by an artist or an artwork that we really enjoy and feel a connection to. I'm going to be creating a work of art inspired by Kootenai artist Alf Crossley. We actually have several of his artworks in our art rental collection. I particularly love his use of color. The next work of art that we'll be looking at is called Red Seductress and it was painted in 1963. Richard created this artwork when he was still living in London, England. Him and his wife were living in a small basement apartment. There was one tiny room that he used as his studio, but he didn't let the size of the room stop him from creating large paintings like this one, which is actually comprised of two canvases that are put together. It wasn't until the painting was finished and assembled at an art gallery in London that Richard saw the two halves of the painting put together for the first time. Richard uses the color red in several of his paintings, particularly in Red Seductress. He uses the color red to symbolize strong emotions such as passion, ambition, excitement, and love. We're going to create a painting that uses our favorite colors to symbolize an emotion. I decided to use the colors blue and green. They're two of my favorite colors. To me, blue symbolizes something that is calm and serene, and green symbolizes nature and the environment, two things I particularly enjoy. The last work of art we'll be looking at today is called On the Grass Number no. 12 and it was painted in 1986. When Richard created this painting, him and his wife Beverly were living in Christina Lake and two years prior in 1984, they founded the Grand Forks Art Gallery. The gallery was originally located in the basement of the library and it would eventually move to its current location as Gallery 2 Grand Forks Art Gallery. The human figure and landscapes are two major themes in Richard's artwork, and in many of his artworks we see the two of those melded together, and we can see that in On the Grass number 12. When Richard painted, he liked to use his intuition to paint, focusing on the magic of fascinating combinations of color, shapes, and textures that appear when paint meets the canvas. We're going to create a painting using our own intuition. Think of a landscape from your memory and focus on the colors, shapes, and textures that you can remember. For my painting, I'm focusing on my memories of living and visiting the Caribbean. I remember the beautiful blue oceans, the white sandy beaches, and the beautiful colors of all the plants. I really hope you enjoyed this activity and learning a little bit about artist Richard Reed. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more exciting programming content in the future. Bye!